There have been critical responses to the trailers for Amazon's upcoming Lord of the Rings series, since not every character in the series is the same as the books. Yes, there have been further and favourable replies as well, and review bombing anger. Many people have used Tolkien's phrase, evil is not able to create anything new, it can only corrupt and ruin what has been produced or made by forces of good, in particular to express their disdain, which to be perfectly honest is utterly devoid of self-awareness. A translation of the written word into visual medium, The Rings of Power, is similar to how Peter Jackson's films and the series will not match the books. Changes in the medium and the environment in which creative decisions are made have an impact on adaptations. They frequently make the original text more accessible without changing it. Twenty years ago, when Peter Jackson's films made Arwen a more significant character than in the books, there was a similar response. In retrospective, the concerns were based on misunderstanding of Tolkien's appendices and the process of adaption in misogyny, entitlement and uncritical sexism. Since the premiere of Peter Jackson's Lord the Rings trilogy, fan reactions have surely grown more severe and nasty. The benefits of fandom do not outweigh its drawbacks. Neglecting the increasingly harmful aspect with toxic positivism is the same as ceasing to be critically engaged and refusing to deal with uncomfortable truths. I get the impression that if fans' identity is linked to something of fictional, making any criticism of their favourite stories a criticism of them personally. For instance, there are problems with Tolkien's mythology despite his fervent anti-racism with some anti-Semitic tropes. Some individuals view bringing this up as a personal assault and effort to prevent them from partaking in something they love. Ignoring something's drawbacks, like in fandom, doesn't make them go away. This feeling of fan attachment and ownership is not a recent development. The Empire Strikes Back altered what had been established in the preceding Star Wars movie. Both critics and Star Wars devotees voiced their displeasure with it in 1980. Here, however, there is a distinction because these replies were not associated with the right-wing movement that is currently on the rise. The Lord of the Rings fandom involvement in culture war efforts is regrettably not surprising given its history of ties to fascism and the reception to Peter Jackson's films. There have been growing momentum across many fandoms with negative voting campaigns. Groups are connected by the disdain for the media and progressive political agenda and a perception of bias towards non-white male actors. For example, the 2016 Ghostbusters reboot, which established a new continuity with female leads rather than revisiting familiar characters, helped to further solidify this feeling. A concerted attempt was made before the movie's release to undermine its marketing and online visibility by downvoting trailers and listings. Leslie Jones quit Twitter because of the racial and gender discrimination she faced. It's possible for critics to point to their displeasure with successful franchise reboots, but it's clear how much this increased when the film's leads weren't white guys. Extreme fan reaction to The Last Jedi has also occurred, as did further review bombing wherein concerted efforts were made to decrease the film's score on sites like IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. Looking back at this short history of untitled fan responses, it's become clear that the desire to maintain the status quo and refrain from pioneering new territory is a recurring theme. Right-wing Tolkien enthusiasts are looking back to the legendary version of the past because they don't like the present. Instead of taking the narrative someplace new, whether through the eyes of new individuals or to a new world, we see this desire to see the stories of the same characters in Ghostbusters and Star Wars, if it weren't necessary for the fact that it calls for self-awareness. These comments make it impossible to have meaningful conversations, because the incessant thrumming discourse that permeates every exchange 
Having a conversation has become more difficult. Just mentioning the Ghostbusters movie from 2016 will inevitably bring about someone who will fiercely disparage it. You'd think that reactions would settle down a little now that a new movie is in part of the canon, but if their actions were successful in achieving their goals, why would they stop? We should stop acting as though everything is fine because fandom occasionally posts nice stories. The tactics of spamming and overwhelming conversation have been in place for a while. There's a sizable segment of the fandom that cannot be reasoned with. They are only able to alter and destroy what we watch. God forbid anyone to produce anything new. I am looking forward to the Rings of Power series. It might be good, it might be bad, it might be different from the books, but who cares, it's an adaption anyway, not a carbon copy. I am not going for it to affect my viewing. I'll judge on what I see now, not the past. Hope you enjoyed and that maybe I've changed your mind a little bit to be more open-minded. Can't wait for the series to come out tomorrow in the UK. I'm a massive fan so hoping for the best. Fingers crossed. I'll be doing reviews of the episodes as they come out. See you next time on Middle Earth Invader.